Hi, Dr. Vincent Pasquale from NSI, and I always get questions, you know, we know that stem cell therapy can help with orthopedics and with joint related problems, but can it help with a spine condition? Um, and what I'll tell you is absolutely, you know, when it comes to spine, I have a very specific feeling about, you know, spine conditions and how they develop and ultimately what the options are for individuals in our current healthcare system. Surgery on the spine doesn't really work long term, and that's not my opinion, that's the opinion of the majority of the healthcare practitioners that exist in the world. You know, spine which is an orthopedic journal, in 2008 they said never do surgery on the spine unless it's tumor infection or instability and the reason is because we have lots of failed spine surgeries. You know, after a five-year follow-up, the likelihood of success goes way down. We start to see accelerated degenerative change and lots of degenerative changes that occur as a result of having those types of procedures. And we're talking a lot about fusions and those more radical surgeries, but you know, that happens pretty often for individuals and most people don't know that there's another option in healing and repairing your spine prior to ever getting to that point. And I want to just address that. You know, yes, we can take stem cells from tissues in your body and we can inject them into areas of your spine to heal and regenerate those tissues. So for disc herniations, for degenerative disc disease, for facet problems, for ligamentous tissue, for myofascial tissue, we can affect it all. And we can take enough stem cells to affect the entire region so that we can promote function and reduce pain long term. Now, for those individuals that have received uh, surgery already, um, we can also be successful in mitigating your pain patterns after you've had that procedure done. Just remember that if you have a fusion, the area above and below are gonna degenerate at a much faster pace. We can inject stem cells into those discs or into those structures, and we can heal and regenerate that cartilage or that tissue to prevent further degenerative change, but also to reduce symptoms. You know, I always use a, a specific patient as an example. I can't tell you his name, but essentially he had a five-level fusion L1 to S1. He was three times post-surgical. His last surgery, he was in, in the hospital for six months because he developed MRSA. You know, after we treated him, and you know, everybody's a little bit different, but after we treated him, essentially he was out of pain for the first time in 16 years off all of his medication. And this is an individual whose life was just, you know, horrible in terms of quality, and he couldn't thank us enough. Now, you know, for that particular person, in an ideal situation, we want to get people before they have surgery, but we can still have an effect post-surgical and I want people to know that you know um, if after the second or third surgery you're still suffering with issues it's probably a good indication that more surgery isn't going to help and um, I just want individuals out there to know that that we can provide a solution in a conservative and a very safe environment with great success